Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Call of Cthulhu where something has definitely changed in the main menu once again. Clearly, as I progress through the game, the menu is becoming more and more disturbing. Yeah, see, things are appearing now in these hallways and they're not always the same hallway. I mean, appearing in this one, I've seen that um, man with the tentacle up. Yo, whoa. I haven't seen anything here yet. But it's certainly looking rather nasty. Given the way that. Oh, lots of cultists. Yeah, I'm not sure I even want to see what's in this tunnel. Let's load up a save. Now, this is slightly before I ended last time, so I'm going to have to reallocate skill points because obviously the game saved before I did that. Um, and don't worry if I seem to be uploading a lot of Call of Cthulhu at the moment. That's okay. Other ongoing series have not been forgotten. I'll record some more Kingmaker soon and some more Darkest Dungeon. I'm just really enjoying playing this one at the moment, and like the the pull, the draw of Cthulhu itself, I am being p drawn in. You know, it pulls at me. It makes me want to get to the bottom of this mystery, and that is what is probably the seductive wickedness of this very maddening world. Secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. So, I have a few thoughts on that. Given that we did not run down the timer during that chase, I have a feeling that had we done so, the detective would have said, look, we're never going to find him, let's get out of here, or something like that, right? I... I don't think, because we, we only let it run about a third of the way down. Let's just look through a few things. So we've got the hurricane lamp. Now, one of the main advantages of the lamp over the lighter is that the flame is enclosed. I mean, obviously the main advantage is that it will project the most light, but also the flame is enclosed and the heat is further away from the hand. So we'll feel a bit of hot heat on our on our wrist, like our you know inner forearm, a bit on the hand, but not too much as it nears the elbow. Whereas with the lighter, you know the flames right there on your fingers. You know, you gotta be careful not to get burned. Then again, if we're careful, well, that's not an issue. So what have we here that hasn't been? I'm just gonna go quick look over clues and redo skill points. We have the photograph of Charles Hawkins posing like an explorer in front of. That looks almost like too many pyramids for Giza, but okay. We have a photograph of Charles Hawkins and Fitz, Fitzroy. Yes, I thought that was cut off a bit strange there. Third man. Is this third man someone we're going to meet in the future, like someone up at the asylum? And then we have this maddening sketch. Hand-drawn map. Dark water, drawn by Charles Hawkins. Some places have been circled. This is dark water. I suppose there's a coastline. Um, this is I mean, arrows. There are lots of arrows going here, here, here. Could that be a train track? I'm not sure. Um, but that is. Let's, let's go F it. Okay, that's a little better. Well, that's definitely a T. It's a to, that, to do, to, to, to bow. Um, big X, big dark scribble. Well, yeah, I think it's mostly the coastline. Can I look on the back? 
there's nothing there. Okay. Worth a try. Right. Nothing here in Chapter 4 yet, but we are in a Chapter 4. Who do we have here? Places, of course. The Hawkins Mansion. Well, we saw that in the last couple of episodes. It was, yeah, it was falling apart. Um, pretty terrible, really. They'd be badly burned. And we now have these tunnels underneath the Hawkins Mansion. Who would have guessed? The creatures a million miles away from us. The chances of something coming here from Mars are a million to one, he said. Doo -doo. Who would have guessed that Hawkins Mansion was hiding such big and intricate tunnels beneath it? It seemed to be the hideout of a cult of some kind. I can't believe Sarah and Simon live right above such danger without knowing anything. Yeah, I mean, look, if she drew these crazy paintings, there's a good chance um, someone knew about it. Now, skill points. I originally put one in each of these three, then divvied a lot about putting one here before eventually putting it here. So, psychology will help with investigation, especially as we meet people. Investigation, a skill we definitely need to improve. Spot hidden, again, we, we would like to have this skill high. On the eloquence front, I'm not dismissing the skill. I would like to put points into it. However, two things to remember. Our boy Eddie over here has been mixing alcohol and sleeping pills for a significant portion of the last eight years from 1918 to 1926. This does not combine well with being a winning personality, let's say. And the second point, I don't think we're going to need it much down here in these tunnels. So when we next get skill points, I will absolutely be investing in this, but for now, that point goes in spot hidden to increase the chance of finding things. We will save those and click that again to get rid of the exclamation marks and then we are going to follow the good officer we used to have a crowbar we don't appear to have it anymore we'll bear that in mind what is this place it's more than just a tunnel look someone's been here recently yeah we were chasing him easy easy there may be clues Three seats for a family of three. Mother, daughter, and child. What can we find here? Well, we've got to start there, really? Okay. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Well, I... I'd like to imagine... Now, how on earth does that give the impression that was Charles would sit here? And yes, I do want to look in here. Did Charles Hawkins hide something in this chest? Oh, I'll be checking that chest after... I've finished my investigation here. What is this mask supposed to represent? Uh, some kind of strange underwater monster with far too many eyes? So we're getting the featureless heads from the introduction dream. Find the feast trail. I'm, I'm investigating here. I'm, I don't know if time stops, but easy, easy, easy. Aha! This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah yeah. Hawkins here? Okay, so she came down here, spied on their meeting, told her husband she didn't want this going on with her little boy around, and he threw a hissy fit. Where the hell did the detective go? Well, gonna try and open this. A symbol. 
What does it mean? Well, it can't be good now, can it? Anything on the back? There will eventually be something with something on the back, because otherwise the whole rotation thing... Unless I could actually turn them around and look from different angles, instead I'm just getting to look from the sides and the back. But yeah, take that. Wait, occultism progressed? Finally? How nice! Um, the underground antechamber. A strange antechamber hidden at the entrance of a network of caves raises new questions. The presence of a table and three chairs leads to the belief that Charles Hawkins used the place for meetings in small groups. The existence of objects of esoteric connotations is more worrying, since they lead to the impression that we may be in the presence of a cult. Moreover, the torn fabric revealing Sarah Hawkins' presence in the place does raise questions. Was she in danger because she discovered these tunnels? Quite possibly. However... Ah, uh, there we go. Yes. Drawings. Well, look. He's crossed out these two. This and this are quite similar, but this just has some other elements added, but he's circled this one as the main one. Occult. Don't get to rotate this one. It is drawn on sheets of paper hidden in a safe, itself hidden in a tunnel under the mansion, and yet it wasn't locked this time. The symbol was repeated on the paper, its form becoming more distinct with each attempt. I do not know what Charles Hawkins tried to represent with this symbol, but one thing is sure, it is important in his eyes. Extract from a notebook of Edward Pierce, Private Detective. And... 10% occult knowledge. Wow, soon we'll know everything. <laughs> well, not really, but eventually, maybe. When knowing everything was actually a very bad thing in this world of Cthulhu madness. However, we didn't gain any skill points from this investigation. Now, the game can't throw us too many skill points, or we'll just get too much. I don't think a skill can cap out at 100, but it might. That'd be interesting. Another thing that intrigues me is, will the game throw in skill modifiers? That is to say, will the game say, oh, this test is rather easy, we'll give you a plus 20 bonus to your skill, or this test is very hard, we'll give you a minus 10, minus 20, minus 30 penalty. Yo, are there modifiers, or are the skills always unmodified? Since there's been no indication of modifiers, if the skills are unmodified, that is giving me further incentive to obviously pile up skills to quite high values. But let us carry on with our investigation and find out where the good detective has got to. Ooh. Just seeing if I can interact with these now that I'm out of investigation crime scene um, mode. Ooh. Yeah, I've got to go down there, haven't I? One of us has. I have a lantern. Oh! This isn't for the guy we're chasing. This is for the lantern. Right, okay. In which case, switching to the lighter does not have a fuel indicator, but gives a lot less light. Mate, are you going to come down here? Oh, good, you are. We don't want to spend too long here, and we do want to pick up another light source at some point. Wait, no! The guy is getting away. Of course. Yep. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. Hmm. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, oh God, I no. prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. So, the detective here looks suspiciously like the man who got killed by the tentacle thing in the introduction nightmare. I do have a feeling we're getting very close to that. And that is not a good sign. 
Ooh, we are in water. Which again, not a good thing. Oh dear. Okay. I was... I'm blocked in now. That has collapsed behind me. Was it? Yeah, now let's put our light away. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. These paintings must be several centuries old. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sensing the thief is getting away now, so we want to be careful. A tribe of men, worshippers of the sea and its benefits, landed on the shores of an island surrounded by dark waters. They were discovered by, the cru by a creature... Hang on. They were discovered by the creature some call the Devourer of Whales. With its long tail here and its manta ray bits to keep aside and its giant mass of tentacles on the front. For years, the creature hunted them down into their dreams until their weakened minds surrendered. Following the creature's orders, they sunk into the dark waters surrounded by the island and never came back. Extract taken from the Malleus Bestiarum by Abigail G. Hmm. While that's intriguing, I can't help the feeling that the thief is getting away. Speed may be imperative, and I'm being far too slow and methodical in my search. But yet that... Right, look. The thief getting away thing only seems to appear when I have the oil lamp up. I didn't have the oil lamp in my hands in the house above. So... That is weird. Or did I? I'd have to go back and check the previous episode. Even so, I want to be careful. And I don't want to go down there. Oh, hello. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. Well, I wouldn't be too certain. That's one way of putting it. Okay. Just checking this light here is pretty bright, but no, I don't think I'm going back that way anytime soon. Light from above. This space bar to run doesn't seem to be going very quickly. Um, what's Crouch again? Yep, I know, look, it's been a long time since the intro, okay? Um, control keyboard, uh, so left control, control shift, um, wait, wait, there's more, lean forwards is right mouse button, wait, when did we have this? It's literally doing nothing. Okay, that carving is not a natural formation. Just saying. There don't appear to be any clues here to investigate. And these these hanging things might rattle if we touch them, so let's be careful. Uh-oh. What do we see first? Strength. Hey! Character point and a game save. Let's see if we can open this from this side. Okay, that's bad. I did say the next time I gained a character point, I would like to put it here. And so I have. However, looking at the time, I might want to stop the episode soon. Um, I'll go a little longer. See if I can find another... Wait, wait, wait. See if I can find another save point in the not too distant future without getting completely murdered by evil cultists dwelling down here in the tunnels.
more of this oh well, that's a bad sound that is a very bad sound down there it sounded like something moving in the water time has weakened these structures oh god okay yep just get across quickly then no no crouching and hiding Just having a quick look around, see if there's anything to look at, anything there at all. I want to get that spot hidden skill up nice and high. Same goes for investigate. Now, came down from over there. There is stuff over here. Obviously, bloke probably went that way, but hey, sacks. I don't have time to search them all. Oh, really? I probably don't have time to go down here either. Oh, that is a lot of green smoke and algae in the water. Come on. This oil again. What is it used for? Mate, you remember that giant whale they were telling stories about ages ago? You'd think you'd have worked it out by now. But it's probably related to how why everyone in this town seems to be crazy. But all right, at least I got to look at the oil. And now, I want to be careful here. I'm probably burning in a lot of vapors, uh, breathing in a lot of vapors and fumes. Anything? Wait a minute. Just quickly now. Yeah, it's not letting me go quickly. So I've got this idea that I could maybe, if I have the lantern equipped, I can refuel it from the oil. Stupid idea, I know. This oil nope. again. What the lantern is it goes away. For? So if I open a door and get into a room full of cultists, and there's one in the middle of a hood and a nasty tentacle hand. And the policeman's there in front of me and he tries to shoot him and gets killed, then it's going to be just like my nightmare in the beginning. So I'm going to hope that nightmare was more of a um, symbolic thing. Oh god. Camera's taken What's over. What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. How the hell did he get. We're not alone. Here. Mate. Let's see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, I, I, there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Well, Officer Bradley, I don't know what I've... Oh! Crouched automatically. That's great. I don't know what I've... what we've got involved in, but it looks really nasty. And we don't want to die. We might even have to run away. Now... Easy. Easy. I wonder if I can see him moving from here or not. Probably best not spend too much time thinking. And I might have to run back up his way rather than my own. What can I find here? Oh, God. Uh, I see three, five, probably more. This is very dangerous. Because so far, we've just been investigating. And this is... That does not look like the floor. That looks like... Oh, God. You know, Officer Bradley, I'm not that sure I do see us meeting up. Ah... What a terrible sight to behold. Let's hide from it. Hide behind these rocky structures. Wait! Is that me again? That's me again, isn't it? This is... The game has saved. And you know what? I should 
probably end the episode here. Yeah. <laughs> While that looks like it would be a great thing to actually end the episode on, knowing how this game autosave works, I... Oh, sod it. Let's go and see. Massive jump scare incoming, no doubt. That mass grave. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. I've come from that way. What's, I, I'm, I'm just being a good investigator. Checking to see if there's anything over here first. Before I get the nasty, horrific shock of, Oh, hey, look, there's something over here I can investigate. A Hello. for sacrifice? Wait. Yeah, that is... Oh, half a shark. And I can't go behind it. I am being drawn towards that. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, here we go. Horrible monster over there, right above the painting. Yeah, thing is, if this painting is real, and does look exactly like this, all those cultists have seen this, and when I arrived in town, they knew that it was me. This means that I'm either really important in some plan of theirs, because, you know, this is like a place of worship here, okay? Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, no way. The dream. What? Some situation encounters will make you panic. Flee the place as fast as you can. Oh, dear God. No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. Well, panic. Again. No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. All right. This is really bad. I don't seem to have any options. Oh, God. No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. Can I at least... Yeah, a lantern. All this grizzle and gore. Ugh. Is this a way? Is this a way out? Not at all. Wait. Aha! Yeah, we do not want to be in the, the shark nightmare again. Oh, great. That looks like I should not fit through there. Is it... Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Mate, it is much worse than your dream. So much worse. Um... Hmm. Sanity is still at stable. Uh, we have mental trauma. We have the submerged city. We don't have any others. Wait. Sanity. So what has changed here? Oh, could it be the nightmare? Um, please, he consumes sleeping person. No, that's not it. But I really want to end the episode now. Um... Perhaps if I'd stayed in there too long, I would have got a new mental trauma and I was lucky to escape? I don't know. I do not know. Now, there's obviously a shooting section in this game because there's a shoot button. I don't have a shooting weapon yet, so I'm going to presume I should not be thinking about that. I should now be thinking about sneaking, exploring, trying not to get killed. 
especially if, if Officer Bradley gets his gun out and gets himself killed, all right? Just trying to avoid... Trying to avoid the Officer Bradley situation from the nightmare. You know what? Yeah, I'm ending, but wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want. Ending the episode here. Um, I hope you've all liked this one, guys. Uh, creepy and disturbing though it may be. And I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say goodbye for now, and cheerio!